So I think I answered this question in an earlier video, but it probably was embedded with a lot of other things because sometimes I talk about like five things at once. So I am going to make this video just to answer this one question. Why did I choose to become a physician assistant versus a nurse practitioner if I was a nurse already? So for those of you who do not know the story, I am also a registered nurse. I went to nursing school right out of high school. Um, I went and obtained my associate degree in nursing first. So by the time I was 20, I was a nurse. And um, I honestly thought that I was going to be a nurse forever. I did not think outside of being a bedside nurse. Problem with that was I got bored. And I am a very inquisitive person. Like I want to know why I am doing the things that I am doing. Um, why do we give this antibiotic? Why do we give this blood pressure medication instead, instead of that blood pressure medication? Now, I thought I would just get my associate degree in nursing and never get my bachelor's because, hey, you made the same amount of money as an associate degree nurse at the time. And um, bachelor's degree, it was just if you were going to go into management. And I just did not see myself as management material because I did not like paperwork. I was, hey, I'm a bedside, taking care of the patient type of person. So um, I just never saw that. I then found out about becoming a physician assistant, look, by accident. I was working in the emergency department. Um, I thought about becoming a doctor. That didn't work out because I, I really thought, hey, if I went to medical school at the time I was married, I'm like, uh, I'm going to end up being divorced because there's so much time that you need to dedicate to your studies. And then, you know, with the residency and, and I had um, new twins at the time. My kids are little, like my, they were like eight months when I started PA school. So, I mean, when I was thinking of making these type of decisions, I had little, little kids. Um, so, um, I was like, well, if I get a bachelor's, it's, it's so that I can get a master's degree doing something else. So my options at the time were to become a nurse anesthetist and, um, or go to medical school still. I still had it like in the back of my mind. So I stumbled upon physician assistant. And that was kind of because I never really considered nurse practitioner school. It, there were so many regulations. Um, I thought surgery may be an option for me. And nurse practitioners didn't really work in surgery. Um, I felt that it was not going to be a challenge for me to get into nurse practitioner school. Uh, I felt like it was going to be too easy. I had to try to get into physician assistant school. So that was something that was appealing to me. I also could not stand taking nursing theory. Now, for some people, this does not bother. But for me, I just could not see myself paying for another nursing theory class, especially at the graduate level. I did not want to write any papers on things that I thought were just common sense. I just wanted the science. I wanted the the medicine behind what I was doing. So I decided not to even like think about pursuing nurse practitioner school at all. I did not even apply to one nurse practitioner school. And in all honesty, I only applied to one physician assistant school. So um, I didn't go the nurse anesthetist route because I did the ICU work requirement. Then I went to like informational sessions for school and then I went to shadow a nurse anesthetist and I was bored. I was like, wait a minute, this is what y'all do. So for people who are interested in pursuing anything in healthcare, absolutely any profession, I highly, highly encourage that you go and shadow. I don't care what it is. Go and shadow someone to make sure that that's the job that you want to do. You can read about it on paper. You can look at how much money they make, but to do um, something as your job for so many hours a day, you have to actually like what it is. Not just like, love it, enjoy it. And Because I went to go shadow a nurse anesthetist and I was just like, nope. At that moment, I was like, nope, that, that's not going to be for me. I'll be bored outside of my mind. And they make excellent money, 
the schooling would have been equivalent to what I would have done for physician assistant school. I mean, as far as timing, but it was not going to be for me. So um, I wanted a career that was going to not bore me, that was going to have me provide care to patients. Um, and I provide care to all kinds of patients in all kinds of um, uh, all kinds of areas. I wanted a, a career that was going to provide a good salary, so I have that as well. Um, Work-life balance. I wanted something that wasn't going to be um, too easy. I, I wanted a challenge, and I did not want to take another nursing theory class. Now, um, shout out to all the nurse practitioners. I admire what y'all do. Um, we all have great, great jobs, and we are all helping um, provide care to patients um, and, you know, to each their own and what they need to and what you're called to do. But when people ask why did I choose not to, that's the reason why. I definitely believe that my nursing career helped my physician assistant education. It helps me be a better provider. Um, but that's the reason why I went the route that I did. Um, it definitely helped with my clinicals. It helped with helped me apply the knowledge um, for the um, the part of class where you talk about applying medical to the science part. I, I did well in that part. So, um, yeah, that answers that part. For, for I get asked that often. So, there you go.